Dofflies, brilliant queen sacrifices. Played by the magician, the tactician, the genius Mikal Tal. So let's enjoy this brutal queen sacrifice. This position occurred in the Goglides Memorial with the black we have Alexis Sutton and with the white Mikal Tal. Here Alexis Sutton plays g6. Now Mikal Tal can take the pawn on f7 and claim a winning advantage. But there is an even better move which forced resignation in a few moves. Can you guys find it? It is a brilliant queen sack with queen takes e5. Now black is completely doomed here, Alexei accepts the queen but after e takes f7 if you move the king to f8, bishop to f6 will be checkmate. So king to d7 or d8 doesn't matter because you're going to see bishop to f5 check, the king is forced to c6 and now bishop to e4 check and the only move is to block with the knight and after bishop takes knight everything is going to fall with the check. So if you think that was brutal, then let's jump to sacrifice number 4. This position occurred between Alexander Koblenz and Mikhail Tal. Here Mikhail Tal has a white piece and he started his merciless checkmating journey with the move g6. Now this pawn can be captured with the f pawn, with the h pawn and even with the bishop. If you accept with the h pawn, it will be a checkmate on s7 and if you take with the f pawn, you will see queen to f7 check, king to f7 force, queen takes g7, king to e8 and now rook to s7 and you will just get checkmate on the 7th file. So Koblenz takes with the bishop and now it's made in 3, so can you guys find it? No, it's not rook takes bishop, it's actually queen takes s7 and after bishop takes s7, rook takes g7 check and after king to h8, rook to s7 checkmate. That was a good puzzle rush, let's jump to sacrifice number 3. Here Mikhail Tal is playing Boris Golko who is a former World Blitz champion. In this position Tal Queen is under attack but will you move it if you're Mikhail Tal? No right, just rook takes g7 and sacrificing the rook and the queen at the same time. If you accept the queen you're getting checkmated after rook to f7 check. If you move it to g8 just knight takes e7 after queen takes just rook to g1 check and you have to give up everything and it will be a checkmate. And if king moves to e8, you're going to see a beautiful checkmate after rook takes e7, double check, king to f8 and now rook to f1 and you have to block with the bishop, rook takes bishop, king to g8, knight to f6 check, king to f8 force and now rook to f7 checkmate. And if you take the rook here, it will be an unstoppable checkmate after rook to g1 check, king to f8 and queen to g3. That was brutal, but you know what is more brutal? Sacrifice number 2. It's Mikhail Tal and Alexander Koblenz again, so it looks like Tal just loves this guy. In this position, Koblenz has played bishop to b7, so attacking the queen, and it looks like Tal has to move his queen because if he doesn't, his bishop is also attacked along with the rook. But this is exactly what Mikhail Tal allowed with pawn takes knight and after bishop takes f3. He didn't take the bishop on e7 but instead f3 attacking the rook. Koblenz saved his rook with d5 but now Tal plays a brilliant sacrifice and the strongest move recommended by an engine. Knight takes e6 and after f takes e6 Tal just played bishop to h5 check and he just won the game with style. That was quite insane, but you know what is more insane? Sacrifice number one. Here Tal is playing Hans Heck in the 1962 World Chess Olympiad and Tal just literally set him up. He just literally set him up for the queen sacrifice. In this position, Tal plays knight to c4 and black moved the queen to e6 and now e5 and Hack said, wait a minute, if I place b5, if you move the queen, I'm attacking the knight and if you take my knight, I'm taking the bishop. So it must be a blunder. But this is exactly what Mikhail Tal wants. He played 
he takes f6 and sacrifices the queen on a4. Game continued with f g7, rook to g8 and now a brilliant sacrifice. Bishop to f5, if you take the bishop, knight to d6 will win you a queen with the great endgame. And if black takes the knight, Tal is going to play rook f to e1 check and queen to e6 has to be played and now he will not take with the bishop, he will take it takes queen and after f takes e6 he will play bishop takes knight in this variation black will be completely hopeless as with the bishop to s7 idea coming next actual game continued with knight takes bishop and bishop takes queen and tal goes on to win this game with the quiet style so this was for the video do like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the more good content